today uh, we will be talking about a superb uh, command called closed curve sim the command is located on this on this toolbar you click here and then that is the uh, you know uh, the command we are talking about so if you want to just adjust a closed curve sim if you take a product you know and then uh, you don't know how to adjust the sim of a product if you want to change the sim uh, to use the flow along the curve uh, you want to change the sim and the, uh, the directions then you will be using this command you can find the same command by going into curve edit adjust along uh, just closed curve if you go here you can find it also as well here I'm going to type length I'm going to find the the total length of this a circle you know I'm making a ring it's a ring size is uh, 6 so I'm going to type the length command le and then uh, select the thing it shows here 57.08 you see here it shows on the top right left hand I'm showing you 57.0.048 so I'm going to uh, make a line here on this view 57.048 so type the command line let's go here type the value 57.048 so that is the line I'm going to bring it onto the top and then what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make a sweep onto this so in order to do, do that um, I'm going to just go on click the end so go into uh, line um, going here uh, click the center just click the end and come to this angle Okay. right so here I'm going to do is uh, like say 1.5 mm yeah 1.5 mm by 1.5 mm so that is it and then I'm going to select this command you know like um, I'm going to align them to one corner so just below so this is so the, the dot is a circle so it should be below that you know so that it revolves so you see that is this is the um, the cross section this is the profile that's how it is going we are going to sweep so it's a simple band ring with the name on it that's what I'm designing so sweep one rail and cross sections so it now is asking for cross sections so we'll select the cross sections okay when we click it is a cross section okay so we are having a cross section cap it cap cap it okay so we have capped this so we have taken this length and made it into a flat surface and then we are going to make a name on it um, let's say go to text here so our Thai CAD services so try to have a bold um, black letter so that you know when you cast it only then it will show properly um, choose black bold solids and then uh, height is uh, for this is one 1.5 1 1.25 let's choose that it is 5 Uh, very big 
So let's choose one mm. That's perfect. So let's click the mid center. So approximately here. So we will have this bit low come to this Lightly up, so that's okay. That's going to be a, a proper distance. So what we'll do is we will uh, boolean union these and these. Okay, so we are going to be boolean unioning. So boolean union. Boolean union. Select this surface and this surface. So it becomes one, you know, then it will be a lot easier. So it is one surface. So we will flow this, uh, this flat area into this ring. Yeah. Flow. Now I'm going to be um, making this onto this top a little bit there. So that's okay. Let's see on the side how big it is. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, that's that's okay. So when you uh, do the polishing, it'll be okay. So we are going to uh, use a command called flow along the curve. So for that, go to uh, transformation, transform here in you know, the transform, go flow along the curve, this command, click. So you need to select the object. This is the object. So where is the base curve, the base curve? Once you hit enter, it will ask for the base curve. We don't have a, we don't see the base curve right now. Just as is enter escape. Just select this object. Boolean union. That's boolean union. This boolean union. Okay. So this becomes one. So when you click on the this, the, even the the rail is coming up. So we'll just uh, move this up. You see, this is the base curve. Now we go transform again. Um, go to uh, flow along the curve. Select the object. Hit enter. Now it's asking for base curve. So this is the base curve. Now it's asking for the um, target. So this is the target. Boom. There we have it. See, we whatever it is in the flat,
it is coming in reverse why it is coming in reverse let's see okay now transform so let's go find where is the seam for this go here uh, curve let's find out where is the seam so we go here so this is the seam so we change the seam to here okay I hit enter so the seam, the seam has come to on the top so we are going to go flow along the curve transform flow along the curve base transform flow along the curve select the object and this object and the base curve and this is the target curve see now it has come on the outside because I am clicking on the starting point you know I kept it here see I kept the sim here so it is flowing from here if I keep the sim here then it will be on the top you see now I am going to show you uh, how I change the sim you know let me go back so let me go and change the sim select this go to seam now have the seam uh, from left let's say left left seam it is on the right okay so we are having the sim here if I if I when I when I when I flow if I click on the top it will come inside you can see now hit enter okay so I'm going to transform flow along the curve select the object then base curve and I'm selecting here you see I'm selecting here where it is coming see it is coming on the reverse it is starting from there so that's how if you want to change it you just have to change if you want on the bottom you know you can just play around and change the seam from here then you can learn how to do it suppose if I want to have this letter on the bottom yeah let me do let me try Mm, let uh, change the seam. Seam, go to seam. So this is yeah. Okay. So now I keep it in this direction. So it should flow. Mm, let me transform, transform. Flow along the curve. Select the object press enter base and again I'm selecting on the same side so it's coming on the top so it is flowing on from here what if you want to have on the uh, below flow on the reverse side so here you know I'm, uh, let me click on the bottom uh, flow flow go to transform flow select the object base is this target is this this side yeah see it has come on the bottom you see this is the bottom okay so it has come on the bottom reverse so you, you can play around you know it's like okay now I'm I would control Z now I'm going to change the sim 
seem uh, to it's here okay now I'm going to press so go to transform flow along the curve select the object transform flow along the curve select the object base curve is this now I'm selecting I selected this side the left hand side here okay so let me click on left hand side let me see what happens see it is flowing from now the sim as the, the letters has come down properly so you can uh, do this by changing the sim if you want on top you can do it on the top if you want on the bottom you can do on the bottom so you can do uh, flowing uh, the name uh, on the top or bottom on the side depends on the sim okay thank you so much um, please uh, subscribe us we uh, spend a lot of times researching and uh, posting um, if you uh, subscribe and comment us that will be highly appreciated thank you bye kindly like and subscribe our channel thank you so much